Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of The Cross Report from Cross Streaming. I'm Dan, and on today's report, we're going to be bringing you one last exclusive Attack on Titan preview just before the launch of the set at the end of this month. Also, we are super excited to show you the brand new resource we just launched for Metacross players everywhere, Metaspoiler.com, the fully searchable visual spoiler for the Metacross TCG. Let's jump in! Over the past few weeks, as we've been working hard at getting more content to you guys, we've also been hard at work in developing a brand new way to search, sort, and view Metacross TCG cards online. And we're happy to announce that Metaspoiler.com is launched and available for use right now. Metaspoiler is a fully visual spoiler. By using the refinement options here, you're able to view cards of all card types, or sort and refine by each individual card type. You can define the character stats you want to see, MP values, effect types, and even text search names and subtitles. Need a particular battle card for your deck? Just click over in the battle card section and filter by ranks, stats, and effects to see all your options and perfect your creation. Now, Metaspoiler may be launched, but don't think that means we've stopped development on it. It's currently best viewed on desktop Chrome or Firefox, and it works okay on Edge and Safari, but we're working on tweaking a few things to bring it up to par. Unfortunately, it doesn't currently display well on mobile devices, but a mobile responsive design is high on our priority list of upcoming features to add. In addition, we plan on adding several other useful features over time, including a text display of your currently selected filtering options and additional card display options. Until then, we hope you enjoy using Metaspoiler, and make sure to send any feedback you have to feedback at metaspoiler.com. There's one other feature we've been asked about a lot, and that's a deck builder. Currently, we have no plans to add a deck builder to the website, but we'd like to direct anyone interested to Metacross Deck Builder at metaxdb.com. I'll toss a link down in the description below, and make sure you go check that out if you're looking for that functionality and support their development as well. And speaking of spoilers, it's time we take a look at our final exclusive preview from Attack on Titan, and this one is the Rare Special 7 R139. This Special 7 has the second highest cost of any battle card in the game at minus 7, but its effect, when timed correctly, can swing the game right back in your favor from the clutches of defeat. This effect allows you to randomly discard cards from the opponent's VP pile until they have 4 left, meaning it's a heal of 1 VP if your opponent's at 5, and 2 VP if your opponent's at 6. It's important to note that this effect is playable on both attack and defense, so nothing stops you from setting up just the right timing to try to get that 2vp swing. Its hefty cost is certainly its biggest detriment, but a deck with several copies of this card can find itself obnoxiously hard to finish off while it pecks away and closes the game out, so it may be worth playing a variety of MP generating battle cards to set yourself up to steal the game. Now, because this card won't always be useful, especially during the early game when your opponent doesn't yet have more than 4 VP, playing it in a deck using something like Meta Superiority will allow you to use it to simply KO an opponent's character in those earlier stages of the game. And for a final piece of the puzzle, when you're spending so many cards to control the board, the ultra-rare Captain Levi Juggernaut can give you a quick and easy hand refill. And as a character with a special rank of 7, he's a natural inclusion with this potent healer. Alright folks, now I expect you to be a little bit more divided on this one. So let's have you duke it out in the comments down below and let us know what you think. Is this just a little too costly for what it does? Or is this thing going to be powerful enough to make waves in the upcoming much-hyped official tournament scene? Let us know down below, toss us a like if you enjoyed this, and make sure to subscribe because we've got lots of cool content coming up, including the much-anticipated addition of more gameplay to the channel, as well as some really great Attack on Titan content. That's it for today's Cross Report. Take care, guys.